Hello guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to Chicago. I had a business trip over here and considering my new huge passion for YouTube, of course, I decided to create a little short film about this beautiful city. So if you're interested, continue watching. Chicago is the third largest city in the US and is home to an estimated 2 million people. Cool fact, its name Chicago was first recorded in 1688 where it appears as Chicago, an Algonquian tribe's word meaning onion field. Stay with me till the end for more mind-blowing and cool facts. First thing I did in Chicago is visiting the Millennium Park and the famous gorgeous sculpture The Cloud Gate by Anish Kapoor, Indian-born British artist who became famous for his geometric and biomorphic sculptures. It was number one to see on my list and I wasn't disappointed. It is a majestic work. For those who don't know, I'm in the art business and always stay on the top of the art market. I wouldn't go in details here, but we've just created a separate YouTube channel that belongs to my company and we'll be sharing art market insights there. The channel is new and I'll highly appreciate if you support. So guys, those who are interested in the art market and fine art collecting, please subscribe. I'll be happy to see you there. The link is in the description below. The city looks and feels a lot like New York City. Lots of people, high rises, traffic, traffic. More than anything is always a flashback to Manhattan lifestyle. When you sit in a car for two hours on the way to your office and then for two more hours on the way back. Luckily, more and more people understand now that there is an alternative to work remotely from anywhere you like even from a terrace at the restaurant with your favorite glass of wine in hand. Buildings here are spectacular. Another bright flashback to Manhattan. The real estate here is on the rise, with prices increasing 3-5% a year on average. It's hard to say the average price for a house purchase, as the market is very fragmented and depends on the area. The average is $250 per square foot. What about renting? There are enormous amount of luxury rentals with fancy floor-to-ceiling windows in the city skyscrapers in downtown. Those go for about $1,500 to $2,000 per month per one-bedroom apartment. Of course, it's not like the entire city looks rich and glamorous. Outside of downtown, neighborhoods look like this. You might have heard some Chicago stories about bands and mafia. Well, it has some rich history related to American Mafia and one of its biggest figures, Al Capone, the boss of Chicago outfit Mafia. Those times have long passed, but Chicago still holds that criminal image to some extent. In modern world, it is home to art communities, manufacturing, finance industries and business figures. There are less developed areas in Chicago, but let's talk about the great things it has to offer. So guys, my first impression of Chicago is very pleasant. It's super clean, first of all. Comparing to other large cities like New York, New York City, it's incomparable even. In New York, you're gonna see so many homeless people, it's dirty, you're gonna see lots and lots of garbage bags on the sidewalk and it seems like no one cleans them up, ever. It seems that the trash belongs to the city. If not the trash, it wouldn't be Manhattan anymore. So here so far, I haven't seen anything like it. It's super clean and it's super pleasant to walk around. Like it's really, really good management of the city. It actually is a problem of large cities because more people live in there, more garbage they produce. I mean, it's logic. And you gotta have really good management and waste management in the city to maintain the cleanliness of the city. I don't know how they do it in Chicago because it's a pretty large city. Um, I guess there are about a million people who live in here. I don't know how they manage it, but they do it really, really well. The city is super clean. Here's the main street with historical buildings, including the spectacular Wrigley Building. And there also is a Trump Tower, a hotel taking up the prime location along the river. So you can see the name right from the Chicago Harbor. I've noticed many of these colorful ducks around the city. And here's a great story unraveled. 
Chicago hosts an apparently famous annual ducky derby, where they throw over 40,000 rubber ducks in the river to race. I know, right? The iconic bath toys race down the Chicago River to win prizes for their owners, depending on how they place. This year the prizes vary, but it usually includes monetary prizes and a brand new car. The rest of the raised money goes towards charity to support adults with disabilities. The funniest race ever, honestly, with a great cause. So, to pay tribute to 15th anniversary of this event, larger, colorful duck sculptures are installed all over the city. Besides painted ducks, there are plenty of other artsy touches around the city. Many graffitis on all the new buildings, parkings and universities. It gives Chicago such a vibrant, creative feel. Apple store here looks like a piece of art. Its location by the water, the glass cube with reflections and the artsy stairs by the cube look so awesome. So we are in downtown. They call this area the Loop and that's where the concentration of all attractions is. Famous sculptures, theaters, shopping district, business district and this beautiful river walk by the river which divides the Loop in two halves. By the way, the water here is so blue that many ask whether someone dyes it. Official information is that it's a natural occurrence. It's a really beautiful place. They rent canoe here, you can ride through on your yacht or have a lunch on their local restaurant stairs with this view. that this had to be the first stop in Chicago, as this probably is the most famous spot in here, but I kept it for later. The Sky Deck, the observatory on 103rd floor. The views are magnificent and you can see all parts of Chicago with a little extra thing. A glass cube which sticks out of the building. Many come here only for the sake of taking a photo in this cube. Although the views are breathtaking, the experience itself not so much. Lines are huge. You should count on 30 to 60 minutes wait before you can get to that upper floor and when you get there you already are exhausted by such a long wait. Tourist hack here. Better taking pictures on 99th floor where it's empty and you have all the views to yourself. Oh, there are so many interesting places here in Chicago. I need another week to visit all of them. This city is very busy. The vibe and even the type of people, as I already said, remind me very much of Manhattan. There are even other neighborhoods and the streets with the same names. They have Little Italy, Ukrainian Village and Chinatown. They also have Madison Avenue. 
The shopping district shines with such names as Dior, Hermes, Bottega and many other high-end boutiques. Within this area there are plenty of nice restaurants and bars and many of them have super cute terraces filled with flowers. Not sure though if the terraces are actually related to the pandemic, but they create a nice atmosphere. Are you familiar with Picasso works? Unlike many that are kept in private collections, this one is in public view in the city center. Impossible to just pass by and not see it as it's gigantic. Actually, it's a bit chill in here. The weather today is great. Sunshine, beautiful day, it's warm, but not, not hot. And locals usually complain about weather conditions as humidity, cloudiness, rains and cold provoke depression. Sunny people like me probably wouldn't be a good fit in here, as I sort of charge my batteries under the sun. I passed by the Chicago Theater, which is a historical landmark. It's been built in 1921 and for many years remained as one of the largest and the most beautiful ones. It has also reminded me of Chicago Broadway show, which is such a classic one. This was my first ever show seen on Broadway in New York. Paradoxically, the show Chicago doesn't run in Chicago or no longer runs in Chicago. Either way, it's nowhere to be found. Here's an art gallery in a historic water tower, which unfortunately was closed, so I went to the Museum of Contemporary Art and discovered many attention-grabbing works. If you want to see a full video from this museum, you can find it on GR Art Group YouTube channel. The link is in the description. Here's another theater in the Millennium Park. With futuristic looks and an open roof, this theater hosts summer events like film series and festivals. My last stop was Navy Yard and I didn't have much time left before going back home, but captured just a few moments. This is the place for walks with a nice view from the pier, attractions park and food trucks. guys for watching as always leave your like if you like and subscribe for more bye